Iconic for their power and agility, Infantry Fighting Vehicles IFVs, are modern war machines that stand alongside soldiers in life and death moments on various fronts. You might be thinking of tanks, right? But military knowledge will bring another surprise. Today's journey will explore these formidable infantry fighting vehicles, the backbone of any military force worldwide. First, let's use military knowledge to understand what an infantry fighting vehicle is and how it differs from tanks or armoured vehicles. An infantry fighting vehicle is a type of military vehicle designed to transport infantry troops on the battlefield and support them in ground combat missions. Unlike tanks, infantry fighting vehicles are not equipped with heavy artillery or massive armour, but primarily focus on mobility and transportation. Compared to tanks and armoured vehicles, models like the Infantry Squad Vehicle ISV, typically have slightly smaller dimensions and weights, enabling them to move flexibly across all terrains while being equipped with diverse weapons such as machine guns, cannons and missiles. Therefore, it is considered a perfect vehicle to eliminate enemy targets on land. Basically, some key features of infantry fighting vehicles include transportation capabilities. Besides transporting soldiers as mentioned above, in some cases it also serves as an ambulance to quickly evacuate casualties from the battlefield, or sometimes transports goods and equipped weapons. In addition, infantry fighting vehicles are equipped with a range of target-destroying attack systems such as machine guns, cannons and even missiles to support landing forces in approaching enemy targets. Another notable point is that Besides their attacking capabilities, infantry fighting vehicles are equipped with electronic steel armour protection systems and bulletproofing, protecting soldiers inside amidst the rain of bombs and bullets on the fierce battlefield. An especially important factor that contributes to the reputation of these vehicles is their powerful engine system. ISV models are usually equipped with extremely powerful propulsion systems to move almost on any terrain even on hilly or swampy desert terrains. In addition, a range of modern infantry fighting vehicle IFV models also feature advanced technologies such as panoramic view control systems, infrared sensors and information display screens to help optimize combat effectiveness for infantry troops. It can be said that regardless of harsh weather conditions or complex terrain, these infantry fighting vehicles will always be an indispensable iron wall to protect soldiers. Together, they will overcome all challenges to achieve their combat objectives. So, we have somewhat grasped the concept and main features of these infantry vehicles, right? Now let's explore with military knowledge if there are any renowned long-range combat machines that have dominated the global arms market. First up is a masterpiece from Germany. This country is well known for its tanks and armoured vehicles that made a name for themselves in World War II. However, there's one that many might have heard of, the IFV Puma, as it sounds similar to the sports brand Puma, doesn't it? The IFV Puma is an advanced infantry fighting vehicle, manufactured by the German defense industry Rheinmetall, designed to support the operations of the German military in defense, offense, as well as in urban warfare. Previously, this vehicle was also referred to as the Hetcher Hog, or Panther, within Germany's research and development project since 1996, aimed at gathering ideas for a common platform vehicle that could be used for various missions, including ground assault, air defense, as well as replacing and supporting a range of armored vehicle models in frontline combat roles. Through the research and development process, lessons learned helped the German engineering team formulate a new tactical concept called ISV in 1998. Subsequently, planning for the Puma as a successor to the old long-range combat models began. Starting from 2002, Germany placed an order requesting the supply of five ISV vehicles, along with logistical services and soldier training, to be delivered within two years. 
By November 2007, a budget of 3 billion euros was allocated to purchase 405 Puma ISV vehicles. Prior to this, five ISV prototypes had been delivered to the German military by the end of 2010. The first two Puma ISV models were handed over to the country's armed forces. The new ISV model demonstrated superior effectiveness by successfully completing tests under extreme cold weather conditions in Norway and during simulated campaigns in Northern Europe. To ensure durability and versatility, the Puma was even transported by aircraft to the United Arab Emirates to test its performance under scorching desert conditions. The trials included suitability for hot weather operations, shooting and driving maneuvers, as well as a range of evaluations on firepower, intensity, and mobility. During testing, internal temperature configurations were also measured. These were then compared with various ambient temperatures to facilitate adjustments to the technical specifications. By April 2015, the Federal Office for Information Technology Equipment in Germany had issued a license for the use of the Puma ISV. This led to the establishment of a training center to train soldiers from mechanized infantry units. Undergoing a three-month course to familiarize themselves with the Puma, the official beast that has been commissioned and operated in the German military since June 2015. Having discussed its strength, let's now look at some specifications of the ISV Puma. Weighing in at 43 tons, it's equipped with a versatile weapon system consisting of a 30mm machine gun and two 7.62mm machine guns. Additionally, the vehicle can be equipped with various anti-tank missiles like the Spike LR Automatic and other types of weapons. Depending on the military's needs, the IFV Puma has a maximum speed of 70 km h on highways and 50 km h on mountainous terrain, thanks to its independent wheel control system. Along with a 1,000 horsepower diesel engine, the vehicle is capable of moving with high intensity and minimizing collisions when traveling on rugged terrain. Furthermore, this beast is also equipped with additional protection devices such as AMAP composite armor modules on both sides of the vehicle with excellent resistance to various types of armor-piercing ammunition. The vehicle's body is protected at level C, the highest level, to withstand mines, rocket-propelled grenades, homemade explosives approximately 10 kilos in weight, and laser beams and early warning systems help protect soldiers inside the vehicle from dangers in the surrounding environment. It can be said that currently, the global market has hardly provided any vehicles that can compare with the technical specifications of the Puma, making it the perfect and most preferred long-range combat backbone. Recently, the German military plans to use $500 million to modernize 40 IFV Pumas by 2023, with more effective weapons and additional communication technology capable of providing rapid situation imagery and GPS coordinates to combat aircraft. This is also an ally of Germany in World War II. Italy is also a country with the most advanced defense industry in Europe. Since World War II, Italy has had powerful battleships like Roma, Littorio and Andrea Doria. Later, Italy also developed a series of war vehicles to serve the military, notably the IFV Dardo infantry fighting vehicle. IFV Dardo is a versatile combat vehicle developed by the joint venture between Iveco an automobile manufacturer, and Otto Malara, a weapons manufacturer. IFV Dardo is designed to meet the versatile combat needs of infantry forces in urban warfare, mountainous terrain, and deserts. The development of IFV Dardo began in 1976, when the Italian army decided to replace the existing infantry fighting vehicles with a new type, requiring higher capabilities in ground attack and anti-tank warfare. After a period of research and testing, the first prototypes of IFV Dardo were completed by the end of 1989 and were put into service in the Italian army at the beginning of the following year. Although it only has a diesel engine with a capacity of about 500-550 horsepower, IFV Dardo is lighter than the German Puma by about 18 tons. This allows it to achieve a speed equivalent to the Puma on flat roads and reach about 40 km h on difficult terrain, with a range of over 600 km. Developers favor building several different versions, 
including versions carrying eight or ten soldiers. However, fundamentally, IFV Dardo still shares common features such as a rich weapon system, including a 30 mm automatic cannon and a 7.62 Talantita machine gun, with the option to install additional weapon systems such as anti-tank missiles, anti-aircraft missiles, or even heavy artillery. Although it may not be as modern as the armor module on the Puma Beast, IFV Dardo is still designed with a multi-layered protection system, including steel armor and electronic protection control software. This armor is designed to withstand artillery and main machine gun fire from the enemy, while using special armor layers in many critical areas, such as the driver's cabin and the transport compartment. It also has stealth capability, protecting the driver and soldiers inside the vehicle with bulletproof systems. IFV Dardo has been widely used in important campaigns deployed by the Italian military. It participated in the Busan campaign in the 1990s, helping the Italian army to quickly respond to security situations in the region. IFV Dardo has also been used in NATO campaigns in Kosovo, the 2004 Iraq campaign, and conflicts in Afghanistan thereafter. In addition to its effectiveness in combat, this combat vehicle also brings considerable benefits to Italy when it is favored by many countries for use, including Turkey and Jordan. However, IFV Dardo also faces some issues such as excessive weight and lower self-defense capabilities compared to some other types of infantry fighting vehicles. These issues have made the development and upgrade of IFV Dardo more difficult and costly. Nevertheless, overall, IFEV Dardo is still considered the most versatile and advanced infantry fighting vehicle today, capable of flexibly responding to various combat situations. When it comes to infantry fighting vehicles, not only products from Germany and Italy, like the ISV Puma and IFV Dardo are considered powerful, but also the power of Asian-made infantry fighting vehicles cannot be underestimated, such as Japan's also having a remarkable story, somewhat more intriguing than Ayafidado, is the Mitsubishi Type 89. The Type 89 is a product of Japan's top industrial conglomerate, and the Type 89 infantry fighting vehicle has been in Japan's ground defense force since 1989. The Type 89 research process began about nine years earlier when Japan was trying to build a strong self-defense force amidst tensions between the Soviet Union and the United States during the Cold War era, as well as to replace the outdated Type 60 series. By 1984, the first four prototypes had been produced and tested for two years. In the early stages, Japan referred to many design technologies from the United States and Europe. The main contractor for the project was Mitsubishi Heavy Industries, but it still had to be closely supervised by the Defence Force and coordinate with subcontractor Komatsu Limited throughout the development process. To meet the requirement of producing 300 units weighing 26 tonnes, measuring about 6.5 mammals long, 2.6 itzik mens wide, and 2.35 mammals high. With the heart of the Japanese engine being a water-cooled diesel engine with a power of 600 horsepower located at the front left of the vehicle, allowing it to reach a maximum speed of up to 70 km h It drives an automatic transmission through gears, enabling movement behind each wheel of the vehicle. The vehicle body combined with a torsion bar suspension system allows it to traverse the rugged terrain without significantly affecting the soldiers. The primary offensive power of the Samurai Warrior is the Oerlikon Contrav's 35mm turret with a firing rate of 300 rounds per minute manufactured by Japan under license. Coaxially mounted with it is a Type 74 machine gun, caliber 7.62 nilla. The turret also houses a Type 79 missile on each side. Below the missile launcher tubes is a row of four smoke grenade launchers. The layout of the Type 89 is quite straightforward. The gunner sits on the left, the commanding turret sits on the right with a rear hinged door. Both are equipped with telescopic sights mounted on the front. The gunner also has two periscopic sights around the front left. The commander has six periscopic sights and a panoramic periscope covering a full 360 degrees. Additionally, the turret is equipped with an advanced laser warning system. 
Behind the vehicle's body is the main troop compartment with a capacity of about seven infantrymen. The perfect combination of fast mobility and good defense capabilities makes the Type 89 a modern infantry fighting vehicle that meets various combat needs of the Japanese Defense Force. It is considered one of the best infantry fighting vehicles in Asia. Another notable name from Asia is the ally of the United States in the Korean Peninsula. That is South Korea. Regarding the K-21 IFV model, it has dominated the weapons market for about a decade. The K-21 Infantry Fighting Vehicle is an icon of South Korea's extremely large efforts in independently producing modern armored combat vehicles. This project is undertaken by the manufacturer Dusan DST, starting development in 1999. The first prototype was completed in 2003 and mass production, as well as deployment, began in 2009 with a total research budget of about $80 million. Unlike some other countries' IFV models, the chassis of the K-21 is somewhat improved, with some parts entirely made of aluminum, such as hatches or some components made of fiberglass, reducing the weight of the vehicle and allowing it to move at higher speeds without needing a bulky, powerful engine. The K-21 is lighter than most other IFV models at around 25 tonnes, including the Bradley line from the United States. Although over 85% of the vehicle's design components are domestically produced, the gunner on the K-21 is equipped with an automatic 40mm cannon developed based on the design of naval artillery, capable of firing high explosive shells, smoke shells, and a 7.62mm machine gun. Combined with advanced fire control systems, the gun stabilizer commonly seen on main battle tanks has helped the K-21 outperform its segment peers. The fire control system can detect and track targets up to 6,000 meters away and identify them from distances of up to 3,000 min. This vehicle also has the ability to hunt down snipers with a sight that can detect both ground and aerial targets. It's no surprise that they are all designed by South Korea's conglomerate Samsung, the country's top multi-industry corporation. Although there isn't much information about the composition of the K-21 armor provided by South Korea, experts assess that the front armor of the vehicle is specially designed to withstand large caliber automatic cannon fire, primarily 30 mm rounds used by vehicles like the BMP-3. The side armor is designed to withstand 14.5 rounds. The upper part of the vehicle can withstand fragments from 152mm artillery shells detonating at a distance of nearly 10 mi. This is achieved because the composite armor on the vehicle is made up of a mixture of S2 fiberglass and AL203 ceramics, including lightweight aluminum alloy. Even the vehicle from the land of kimchi has a sealed fuel tank that can absorb the impact of shells, minimizing the risk of explosion. Additionally, there is an automatic fire suppression system inside the vehicle. With advanced technologies and superior characteristics, the expected price of a K-21 vehicle from the South Korean Army is around $3.5 million. If produced anew, the vehicle would be cheaper than its American counterpart, the Bradley M2, by about $1 million. So here, we conclude our journey of exploring the most powerful infantry fighting vehicles from a military perspective. Now, dear viewers, which armoured vehicle impressed you the most? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments section below. For now, goodbye, and see you in the next videos. Have a great day, everyone.